All right, today we are going to be talking about how to create a residual graph. Uh, residual graphs is a topic in network flow, which is a very important subject in computer science. So if you're actually not a computer science person or you don't want to learn about this, you can actually skip. But I think it's necessary for every IT person to know about flow networks or network flow. It's simply how to make more efficient use of the network capacity, be it the communication network, electronics network, computer network, and so on. So one way to do that is to create a residual graph. Residual graph is simply a sub-network from the existing network. For instance, this is the original network. This is the residual graph. And residual, residual graphs helps you to see how you can improve or what links in the network you can actually improve the flow or the traffic. So let's go ahead to look at the procedure for creating a residual graph in a flow network. I also want to remind you to subscribe to my channel by clicking in the subscribe button below this video so that you get updates when I make new lessons. And also, do let me know if there is any topic you'd like me to discuss or treat or some observation you you find that you'd like me to clarify. Uh, leave in the comment box below for me and I'll get back to you. So, in creating residual graph, there are some rules that you need to apply. Rule number one. The nodes in the original graph is exactly the same set of nodes in the residual graph. So get it clear. The rule number one, this set of nodes, one S A B D D C T or S A B C D T is exactly the same set of nodes in the residual graph. So let's start with that. So that is the starting point for creating a residual graph. Now, there is another rule called the forward edge rule and the backward edge rule, right? So, how does it apply? It means that the first set of edges you need to consider is the edges that have capacities that are not completely used. So, if we have 3 being the capacity of this edge, and we have 1 to be the flow on this edge currently, it means it's not fully used. So edges like this provide two edges in the residual graph. So one of the edges means you can actually push additional flow. Oh, sorry. So you can actually push additional traffic. In this case, it's 3 minus 1, which is 2. You can push 2 forward. And you can also undo the already existing flow, which is 1. You can actually remove it. So it means you have a backward edge of 1 on a forward edge of 2. So let's go ahead to do that. If you actually find this difficult, uh, challenging, just pause the video and see how you can understand it a little bit clearer. Let me take another color of paint. Maybe I'll use, um, use uh, this color. All right, so I'm adding a forward edge of how many? Of, uh, of 2, because you can push 2 more across. So a forward edge of 2. So what these numbers are, they are actually not flows, but they are called residual, it's called residual capacity. And we add a backward edge of one, meaning that we can undo the existing one. So you add one. So let's consider the, the, the one from A to D. So this is called a saturated edge. So saturated edge, you can add additional uh, flow in the same direction. You can only move flow backwards in the opposite direction. So let's add a backward edge from here and we can undo the existing flow of 2, right? So we have 2 already and it's saturated. We can't add anything further. We can't. We can only undo. So we add a backward edge from D to A. Let's consider this. Here we have 2, 3 meaning that we have a flow of 2 already, so we can undo it by adding a backward edge, right? So let's add a backward edge of 2. And we can add additional forward traffic of 1 because we need one more to, to make this saturated. So simply 3 minus 2 is 1, so we can just add it in this way. Okay. 
one right so I hope you are following so let's look at S to S to B so here is saturated we can't push anything further no we can't so we can only push backwards right good by removing this tool that is already existing so let's add a backward edge good so let's consider B to A B to A so here we have a flow of 1 a capacity of 3 meaning that we can add two more flow in the same direction so let's add okay this is not very straight so we can add two more in the same direction like this two and we can remove the one that is already there so we undo the one by sending flow backwards of one right so let's consider b to c here we have two existing a uh, flow or, so we can remove it by putting a backward edge in this place so backward edge from this time from C to B, right? And we have a forward edge of one because we need one more to complete it. So we can add one more in the same direction. So this is one in the same direction and this is two in a backward direction, right? Good. So let's consider C to T. Consider C to T we have one, meaning that we can add one more in the same direction. And we can add one more we can add one backward edge to remove this uh, traffic of one so we have a forward edge of one and a backward edge a backward edge of one as well so we are left with uh, d to c and also d to b d to c we have one we can just remove it by putting a backward edge of one. If I can get this, okay, a backward edge of one. And we need two more that we can put to get to the capacity of this edge of three. So we add two more in the same direction. Two. Okay. So we have the last one, which is this. So this is saturated. We can't put anything in this direction. So we can't because it's saturated. We can only add a backward edge. So let's do add a backward edge from here to here. And a backward edge to undo this one we already have. So this is the residual graph. So the next thing we are going to do in the next tutorial is to analyze this graph using for forecasting algorithm uh, to see the concept of, uh, of, of residual capacity and also the concept of bottleneck. Those are the two concepts to understand for forecasting. Uh, we also have residual, residual capacity. Good. So this will do in the next tutorial. I would like to thank you for viewing. And also, if you have some challenges following this, let me know in the comment box and I will get back to you.